Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to this, which uh, may be the final part of A Date with Kate. It's time for another No One Lives Forever 2 live Let's Play. Um, I've taken a quick look of the last episode of about how much of the game I think I had to go uh, by looking at walkthrough, and it turns out uh, that I'm pretty much almost on arse level, so in theory we'll probably finish up this episode. Haha! Uh, if you haven't already, uh, well, first I'd like to formally welcome you to today's stream, and if you haven't already, if you've missed the other episodes, you can go back and check them out, uh, parts 1 to 5, on my YouTube channel, uh, where they're also into a handy playlist, so you can watch one after the other, if you have, I mean, one and a half episodes, uh, one and a half hour episodes, seven uh, episodes, and this is part eight, isn't it? Yeah, so, eight episodes, eight times one and a half, I could do it in my head if I could do maths better. A certain amount of hours spare. You can watch the whole thing in one sitting, should you choose. Otherwise, um, you can just you know, watch whenever you want on YouTube, that's what it's there for. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze straight away. <coughs> oh, I apologise for that. So, this is No One Is Forever 2. It is by Monolith Productions. They were famous, uh, or are famous, for fear and uh, Condemned, and most recently, Gotham City Imposters. Before all that, they made this game, a series of games, that was a, a, a series of first-person shooters for the PC, and the first game also came out on the PS2, uh, where you are Kate Archer, Super Spy, first-person shooting your way through some very funny and very entertaining uh, set pieces. So, last time, we went into the uh, underwater base, then we got captured, and was put into the uh, threatened with Mansos, and you don't ever want to be threatened with Mansos. Um, after dealing with some goons and some man cubes, that was goons squishing the cubes, uh, we set sabotaged some equipment and then got in an elevator. Oh, it's a crash. Well, thank you, their uh, game, for, for doing that to me straight away. Open with a crash. That's what you want to see, isn't it? Okay, not to panic. Uh, get you going again and in the meantime you get to look at infinity view as you watch everything going into itself why are you crashing come on there we go so you get a <laughs> uh, yes very slow clap it's a great start <laughs> well you know we just pretend that doesn't happen <laughs> so I apologise for that here we go are we good I love how I think it's the second episode and the last episode both uh, started with the game crashing. So that's always a useful thing. Excuse me again. Sorry, everyone. Bit, uh, a bit binged up today. Right. Second time's a charm, right? We hope. If the videos don't crash, come on. Stupid game. Okay, let's just hit continue. Not that works. Fingers crossed, because we really don't want to crash on the last level and it never able to load again. Because that would just be frustrating, right? Incredibly frustrating. <laughs> so let's hope it carries on. Come on, come on. Yay, we're in. We are in game. Panic averted. Crisis averted. So yeah, you notice we haven't actually uh, maxed out all our things yet either, interestingly. So, oh, we can upgrade something. So let's upgrade our weapons while we're here. May as well, eh? Right, wood. Artificial lava. It's the best kind. The previous substance that constituted at around 313 Kelvin. I take baths. That. The only problem is it doesn't really look like lava. That's actually by design. Our first few prototypes were very naturalistic, but the focus group results weren't where they needed to be. So we said, hell with it. Let's just concentrate on making it look cool. What was wrong with the realistic stuff? People take reality for granted, so <laughs> it's hard to impress them with your garden variety liquid magma. Why do you think we have our headquarters in underground caverns? It'd be a lot cheaper and more convenient to lease an office building, but then you get potential clients who don't think you're evil enough for the really high profile operations. That's a lot of sense. Take a look at the latest Criminality Monthly. They profile two evil organizations Misery Incorporated. Fist of Injustice. That uh, just sounds painful. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> 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 
extortion, the petty kind of stuff any guy with a two-car garage and a mental disorder can pull off. But they've got a much better Do we have a scope? In the criminal industry. No kidding. I thought they were pretty much on par with us. We've got more evil in our daycare center than we have entire organization. So there, we've got a little insight into the uh, architectural design of an evil base. The more you know, and the more we shoot. Because, you know, the more you know, the more you shoot. And, uh, yeah, I had something for this. No, I didn't. I had something for this. Can't use the pass head kit. Can't use the body armor. We are doing too well, people. I'm not used to doing this well in any game, let alone one that I'm currently playing live for people to enjoy. <laughs> More. Code Red Alert. Uh, off the phone with the director's mother. She's planning a surprise visit. You won't like that. Uh, prepare the guest house. Uh, she doesn't want to open bear me. <laughs> what do I do? Well, uh, my tip for avoiding your mother is lock her in a basement. I never said that. Out loud, anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's get these uh, stuff off the people, off the corpses. I can do words, honest. That's, that's why I make my living writing things. Right, onward. There's another um, armor up here for some reason, even though there's no enemies. Sorry for the musical interlude. Oh, now there's a lot of ammo here, so you can imagine there's probably going to be some kind of large fight in our immediate future. Because that's how first person shooters always worked in the 2000s, wasn't it? You get given a heck load of ammo and a heck load of uh, Where do you think you're going? equipment. We have business yep, attend. boss fight. Last time we met, it was beneath the <clears throat> This time, it is over a lake of boiling artificial lava. Our property. Lava fight. <laughs> yes, even laugh. Maniacal laugh. Volkov, let's find him. Now I there he is, you. in a wheelchair. So we can't carry any more ammo. Oh, and he also has a rocket launcher in his uh, foot. Now, remember that I've got a rocket launcher from last time, so I might pull it out soon. Oh, strafing, strafing, strafing. It's what's for breakfast, dinner, tea, and for more strafing. And I'll take some armor. You can run. Is that it? Well then. Whee! Wow, I hope that lava has disabled access. Because otherwise, he's going to find it difficult to get out of it again. And some more ammo, because why not? Die! Daka, 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 daka. More daka. More daka. More daka. <laughs> Sorry, I got um, carried away there. You know, chill, just chill, chill your boots. Then boots, chill them. It's the lava. That's why they're not very chilled. Um, they're on fire. I apologise profusely for these jokes, but they only get worse. So. Uh, Sorry, if you don't like them and you're using and you're watching the YouTube version, you can just skip a little bit further. Maybe I'll shut up. Maybe I won't. I don't. I don't know. I just do what I do and hope you'll watch it afterwards. It's a quick save. After that uh, tremendously difficult boss fight. I don't know if the sarcasm came across there. Oh, and another level transition already. If that was like the actual final boss fight. <laughs> Sorry everyone, the episode's only 10 minutes long, because I was right at the end. <laughs> that would be quite hilarious. <laughs> and now, oh, we get to learn about Asako's debt. Asako being the ninja lady from uh, that we fought in the tornado a few episodes back. But first we're given some armor and a sword, which I can't pick up yet. Is that because I already have one? No, I just can't pick up the sword yet. For no arbitrary reason. I can open that though and get the uh, mime solution. We should have brought in the Australian. I don't know who the Australian is. Do I want to know? Yeah, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. 
Or if not, it was probably from the first game and I've forgotten because I have a terrible memory. And it's been... Oh, points for escaping. And it's been a while since I played... Like, even longer since I played the first one than the second No One Lives Forever game. Both of them brilliant games. Um, I'm, I'm glad... I, I've enjoyed revisiting this uh, the No One Lives Forever series, uh, especially this game, over the last uh, few weeks. So I'm glad you could all join me for this adventure. Hello. Cutscene. I thought I might run into you. I knew I would run into you. What do you say we pretend we didn't see each other? I can't. Oh. Can't ye? Can we just pretend? Oh, we're back here. Do you remember this place from, like, right back at the start of the gate? Oh, oh, the, our part one of our playthrough. When we were basically taking part in a lot of... What's this for? A grenade, so... When we were doing a lot of sneaking, and I was doing stealth, and by stealth I mean running around shooting everybody, because that's how I do stealth, okay? Okay, so I won't come back because I'm kind of a bit thingy of trying not to die at the moment. I do have a micro missile launcher, but this seems a bit excessive. So instead, I'll grenade everything. Uh oh, so that's um, there is some. There we go. So that's some big. Well, it's not escaping. I'm trying to do it. All my fairness. Uh, let's quick save here. So that's uh, one good thing about old in day games with a quick save. Anywhere you can literally just save in the middle of a boss fight, and then. You don't lose your progress. More ammo. That's a good thing for us. Not so good for them. Bullets. Daka daka. More daka. Oh, right, so we're out of bullets. Shotgun. Hey, little sister, shotgun. It's a nice day, too. Shoot you in the face. It's a nice day for a shotty shotty. It's a nice day to shoot again. And if you don't like my singing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Daka daka daka. More. Oh, explosive ammo. I like that. Well, you know, I don't know how much I would be charged if I had to pay for it, so... Oh, first aid kit. That's probably useful right now, because I'm kind of nearly dying. Oh, cyanide. Fire. More fire. Where is she? Oh, kind of didn't mean to use a rocket launcher, but screw it, we'll you're using it now. Got it! Way! Shot her in the wrong. face. I have spared your life all those years ago. <coughs> You've been nothing but a disappointment. Sayonara. Oh. <laughs> what a very camp way of dropping a gun. <laughs> oh, he gets smoke bombs, not fair. Are you alright? Can't say much for your taste in employers. He was like a father. You're better off as an orphan. Good point. I am in your debt. Whee. Then will you please stop trying to kill me? What's wrong? Get it that that Science! Does make Nothing sense. Is wrong. So you can Well, I'm late to a war. Good Sayonara. I don't get it. So if you could karate chop a ninja blade, why would you use a ninja blade to cut things? It Ugh. Science. And a big daddy. Oh, and that's the end of chapter fourteen. Now you see, now I'm worried, because I may have been mistaken about how close I was to the end. And maybe I'm not. 
we'll find out. The well tears on the brink of nuclear to for things with the United States and the Soviet Union closer to the wall than at any time. So it's, oh, come on. So that's two crashes in a row. This is looking, uh, this is setting good precedent. Two crashes. Do you want to give us a third? Okay, more more infinity while we uh, try and get the game back. Come on. Come on. We believe in you. We believe in you. We believe in you. I should stop cheerleading. Because, you know, oh, sort of thing. I'm sorry for this little delay in the stream. I blame my tools. Because I'm a bad white man. More videos. More videos. Come on. I'm going to say load the actual game. Hopefully it's remembered where we were. Yep. So the world is on the end of... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, fake humanity. Oh, and it's crashing. Oh, why are you crashing? That is very, very frustrating. God, Bennett. Okay, bear with me, everybody. I'm very apologising. Um, all I can really do is just try again and see if I can get it working. I'm gonna try. Loading the game manually, see if that helps. If not... <laughs> no, This is going to be a very awkward episode of uh, My Date With Kate. The episode, it all went wrong. I'm going to blame the, uh, the feels of that. Probably couldn't handle it. Right, well, fifth time's a charm, right? Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That is annoying. That is incredibly, incredibly annoying. Okay, I'm just going to try one more thing to see if we can get it working, and if not, we may have to abandon stream. Abandoned stream. Women and children first. Right. Let's see if that works. I got a feeling I just realised that I may have accidentally uh, ruined the stream if it doesn't window properly. But let's find out, eh? Oh dear. Let's see if this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Yes! We're in. We live, we live. Meanwhile, in the home super secret oh, submarine. Okay, Perkins, take us up. I got stuff. All hands prepare to deploy invasion force. We're detecting an unidentified submarine near the coastline. They slipped through the blockade. Attention all personnel, we are at DEFCON 2. Repeat, we are at DEFCON 2. Think the president would let me push the button? I'm surprised he let you use a telephone. President Johnson is about to address the American people. My fellow Americans, it is my grave duty to inform you of a crisis unfolding in a far-off land many of us have never even heard of. Even as we continue to endeavor toward peace in Vietnam and a settlement to the continuing crisis in the Middle East, a dangerous new menace has cast its shadow over the tiny island nation of Chios. In the Sea of Marmara, off 
Do you think in real life the uh, missiles all say USA on the side like that? Don't push the button. Hammer time! No, not hammer time. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a bit of a joke. Perfect. Begin deployment. We're picking up an inbound jet fighter. The pilot is giving the code Fox Hunt. Kate! Armstrong, he's still around. Oh, yeah, we say he was still around, didn't we? <laughs> Parachuting in, hell yeah. I'll be dead. What? I don't know Damn how he got that there. Oh yeah, he did didn't the smoke. Didn't make it. Neither did I. Where's the ammunition? On its way. Bruno says they finished assembling the capsules. They'll be airdropping it to us any moment. Good. We should be able to hold out as long as Dr. Schenker's super soldier tonic does what it's supposed to. Oh look, that looks like someone's plant a bomb. I have an idea. Stay here and make sure nobody gets near that flag. This is what I say every time I play capture the flag and nobody ever listens. Uh oh. Big Daddy's back. Enemies everywhere! Well, I suppose there is no stealth. Who needs stealth when you have boom boom booms? All the boom boom booms. Yes, you'll be bleeding. Uh oh. So I think this might be the last mission of the game, but don't hold me to it. And now we start dancing, yeah! Funky, funky music! Ah, oh, is that it? I like that music, I was enjoying it. Let's see what's in the present. Grenade! A grenade! Another present. A missile launcher. Yours tonight, if the price is right. Etc, etc. Right. Onward. Onward we go. I probably shouldn't sing, but oh no. I don't know which way I'm going. That gate looks kind of ominous. But at the same time, I think it's just a decoy. I should really stop singing uh, when I'm playing. Right, uh, this way? Oh yeah, because we're heading on to that cliff, aren't we? But I don't know if I can get it through this way. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea, is it? Let's go the uh, designated, pre-prescribed way. It's a linear first-person shooter, remember people? Linear. Because you have to go a certain way. But, you know, for a linear... Uh, a linear one, it, it does do environments very well. And I believe that. Thank you, Santa. But, um. Oh, let's see. That's, uh, there's a serum over there landing, so we know we've got to go get that. Oh, hello. Hello, people. Surprise. How did you survive that? I, like, must have pumped most of my rounds into you. I don't know how you survived either. You're you're just incredible, incredibly lucky. How are you surviving? Seriously, die! Jeez Louise! Right, I've got some body armor to show for it. That's good. Right, let me quick save, and then we'll just see if we can get to that crate from here. So that's where it's landed. So we say got to go sa down, sir. Ja Ja Binks. Do you know what? My descriptions are getting worse and worse. I've gone from singing to Ja Ja Binks to I don't know where we'll go next. Let's let's try not to think about it too hard. In the meantime, down we go and around this rock. We'll follow this coastal path around and hopefully get ourselves um, 
It's not serum. Uh oh. There's a super soldier. That ain't good. And a micro missile. And I'll pass, thank you. However, oh, we do have to go this way. So how am I gonna get to the thing without doing the thing with difficulty, one assumes. Let's run backwards. And then we'll quick save. And then we'll try. They're shooting at me! Ow! Oh, I didn't read that. I probably should have. Uh, you can equip these anti in your utility launcher. It isn't concentrated for an active but you can knock them temporarily by... Right. So you've got to knock them out, then do the serum, and then, yeah, and then it'll kill them. Until then, I have to kind of... Yeah. Oh god, go away! No! Die, you stupid piece of... Right, so let's go to the missile launcher, quickly. Right, so we've got the... There we go. So there, Super Soldier, Super Soldier, two down. Okay, let's do it again. We've got three shots of this left. Well, Super Soldier Serum. Boom. Oh, so as you can see, they turn to normal uh, soldiers once they uh, have been sufficiently. Oh, so more ammo as well. And explosives, because we need them. And we'll quick save, although I would like to find some ammo before I quick save, but too late. So we will plant this bomb. As we assumed we had to. Bomb planted, let's uh, get ourselves away from the blast zone. I wonder how far this is going to fall. There it goes. And we destroyed the super secret submarine because it wasn't super secret enough. We also have enough points to upgrade something. So, gadgets, search, carrying, or stealth, I think. Carrying. Actually, no, maybe stealth. Don't know whether to evade more or think. Well, I think stealth's kind of out the window, so we'll. Uh, excuse me, we'll abandon that. Right, onward. Let's kill some more fools, shall we? I'm not sure, like, because we're running out of um, micro missiles, I'm not sure how we're going to take on the next few super soldiers, but I assume persistence. Is going to be the key here. Yep, you'll be bleeding. Those are usually the symptoms of getting filled with bullets. Oh, hello. Hello, person. Okay, so do I want to go around here or up there? Kind of want to go around. To Aha! Yep, that was a good plan. So we've filled our body armor so I can quick save. So I assume it's kind of a looped system so you can then lead the uh, super soldiers on a merry chase. Hopefully not get too... Look at that section while he's rolling. Uh, <laughs> and then hopefully not get too thingied by the... Uh, not get too beaten up by the super soldiers as they're coming at you. Oh, and there's one. Oh, wow. Shotgun hurts. So we have a combat shotgun. And we do have explosive rounds. 
Oh, that was good. So we know the explosive rounds are pretty good. Now, stop being so super! Become a normal soldier! Mohoho! Wow, you popped! Gooey! You are full of goo! Well, we'll be taking all this! Oh, micro missiles! Hell yes! Hell to the yeah! That's kind of what we needed at this point, wasn't it? Get back our uh, machine gun. So we have a system going now, don't we? We shoot, we shoot, we shotgun, and we shoot. And that's basically our action plan. So that's the way I would have come if I'd gone up through the other side. So it's probably probably took the best route, really. Now a guy running isn't going to summon me. Very likely he will. Win. I don't know who was uh, currently shooting at me. They're a very bad shot. Oh, there they are. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Okay, micro missiles out. Oh, you've got in my way, silly man. Oh god, there's one behind me. That's not good. I'm glad I saved this uh, heavy body on it. Quick save. For our own protection. Get all these normal guns out of the way. So that's both the ones that we have left. Let's hope we have enough. Let's switch to the SMG. One more super soldier. Whoa! I think that's all the super soldiers. Dear John Letter. Hooray! And now we've just got a rendez bleh, rendezvous with Armstrong at the fort. Booyah! That's the way we do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the way we do it. Excuse me for my cockiness. I just uh, love it when a plan comes together. More bandages. Just give me more armour. That's what I need right now. Broken with a band, not Cecil. Uh, is there any chance of some armor down here? I don't want to accidentally walk off. Uh, you know, one of those bridge things or into a bottomless pit. Don't want to walk off the edge of the world. There's a, a set of armor, which is useful. I got a feeling there may be more battles unless I just was incredibly efficient there, because this is a very big sort of area. For, the, for that to be it. Although, as I say, I might have just been lucky and caught them at the right time. Also remembering that I am on easy, aren't I, on medium? Because I'm a big wuss and playing live is difficult. That's the excuse I'm sticking to. That's a case for the defence, Your Honour, and that's the one I'm sticking to. You just joined us? This is No One Lives Forever 2. Played live by me, someone who's very inept in general at stealth games. But yeah, this was one of my favourite games. It came out in 2002. I think, was it 2002 or 2001? I'm, I'm, I've got forgotten already. 2002 it came out. Um, it's by Monolith, who are famous for Fear and Condemned, and most recently Gotham City Imposters. I believe they're working on something new. Uh, and I think they've actually announced this week that they are going to be announcing something new at E3. Nobody knows what it is yet. Fingers crossed it might be Null 3. You never know. Oh, 
Although I would like to think it's uh Although given that no one knows who owns the rights to Nolf at the moment, hence Nolf 1 and 2 not being on your on-demand services at the moment, that might be out of the question, sadly. Unless they announce then that they have found the rights and they're releasing them on your digital... Excuse me. Your digital download services. Oh, I have a terrible, terrible mouth and tongue sometimes for speaking. Right. I can hear something weird beeping. I don't know what it is. For now, let's carry on. Let's go meet Armstrong. At Fort Knox. I mean the fort. I mean whatever it's called. Oh, I think it was I think that sound ahead was from outside. Oh look at that, that's lots of people coming this way. So stealth is certainly not really a option at this point. Although, you know, long distance shooting is always an option, I suppose. I don't have, did I kill anyone yet? I think, yeah, one of them, one of them's down, two of them's down. Well, there were four of them, so I must have shot one some point. Because I now only see one left. Unless my mass has gotten terrible. Either one's gone missing, or I've got them from quite a distance. The music's not stopped either, so I don't know. Maybe they're the other one's running towards me, and I just haven't seen him yet. No, there they go, the music's stopped now. Okay, so we can just drop off this wall. Sweet. That's a fort. Uh oh. God save us all. Yeehaw! He pushed the button. One small misstep for man, one giant calamity for mankind. <laughs> I'll be sipping daiquiris on a beach in the park Pacific until it all blows over. <laughs> Too bad Mummy won't be joining me. Uh oh. Oh, oh god, and he's also got giant laser freaking eyes. Holy hell. A sniper rifle. Yeah, I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, but okay. Okay. Oh, straight away. No! Kate! So was that it? Was that the final boss? Boom! Get in there, Armstrong. Give him one! We're in business! Whoop whoop! The flag. We have to stop that missile. Too late, boy. She's out of range. Damn, I wish I had some popcorn for this. Now what's that girl up to? No! So sorry I can't stay to see the fireworks. I really must be going. Ta ta. <laughs> no! So Axe is down. Armstrong's down. The big lieutenant's down. The guy looking for his daughter has made it to uh, dry land. The Soviets are promising to launch a full retaliatory strike unless the missile is destroyed. This is getting better by the minute. So now he's got a face again. <sighs> Laser boom thing. Sleeping on the job. Lazy spies. Let me hear you say way -oh. No? Aww. <laughs> oh, thank God. Well, I'd thank him. But, yeah. Wait! Whatever works. Oh, 
What's wrong? Stay back. <laughs> Abigail. No. No. <laughs> All the feels. Didn't you get shot? Well, that's enough for me. I'm long overdue for a pint or two. So, what happened anyway? I thought you were going to guard the flag. Don't even start, girly. I single-handedly fought off a super soldier invasion, and you couldn't even handle one little self-infatuated sissy with a target pistol. You took me by surprise! Maybe you would have heard him coming if you didn't have your head up your ass. Have some sympathy! I was shot! Multiple times! Ooh, poor baby. Don't you mock me, woman! It stings! <laughs> and there we have it! No one lives forever too. More credits? I don't know if there's anything else during the credits. I'm trying not to be too... I think in case something else comes up. But look at these credits. Lovely design. So yeah. It was No Lives Forever 2. As I say, I, I thoroughly enjoyed coming back to visit, revisit it. It's uh, still a pretty damn good game. Um, oh well, thank you as well, uh, CM. I assume... Game Manager? Ah, there you are. Anything interesting happened while I was away? Not particularly. Well, I suppose you're probably eager for some excitement. Not particularly. Is everything all right? Not particularly. <laughs> so yeah, um, as I say, I enjoyed a lot coming back to it. And you can see... It's weird that you can see quite a lot of things from the game um, that was then... Monolith then used for fear. And, uh, and, and what was the other one? Condemned. In terms of level design and that sort of linear but not feeling too linear. And I suppose storytelling in, in such a way that is actually entertaining for first person shooters, you know, given that, relatively speaking, first person stories are usually that uh, excellent. Thank you, email, for going off there, right, as I thought I'd set you too busy. But um, it's a real, I think it's a real big shame that Monolith kind of went semi-serious after this. And we'd, we did think that Gotham City imposters look when we got the uh, sort of the images and stuff and when they were showing it off, we'd hope that kind of would hack back to the days of No One Lives Forever. But it didn't really because there was barely a story there. And I don't know if it was because it was a three-to-play game or just because it had an already established universe in DC that it didn't feel as, well, as rich or at least as light-hearted in tone, just w as warm as No One Lives Forever uh, as a series did. I really do hope that they find who has the rights to it and they do re-release this on uh, digital services, as I've said plenty of times throughout these episodes. Um, it's a really entertaining game. It's not the best game in the world, um, but it's pretty high up there in terms of, you know, it's just a warm and just generally fun, which is something that is sorely missing from a lot of games these days where they forget that they're games, you know what I mean? They just, um, they seem to take themselves very seriously and poor-faced and No One Lives Forever 2 especially was just, just a damn right good fun. They didn't give a crap about, you know, being realistic or making sure that your AK-47s were licensed gun stuff. It was just a damn good, fun adventure that had a very, not pervasive, because I, yeah, pervasive, a very pervasive sense of humour throughout it. Um, I, was, that's, I was nearly getting confused with the word persuasive. Anyway, it had a very pervasive sense of humour throughout and self-knowing, and it didn't really outstay its welcome, as you can see. I mean, it was shorter than a, coming back to it now, it's a lot shorter than I originally remember it. Um, so I don't know if that's just my age or, or you know, because these days we tend to feel 
I mean, there's a lot of people who play older games and then play games now, and they say that games now are oh, only about 8 hours, 10 hours long. The games in the old days... Excuse me, games in the olden days used to be 12 hours long, and uh, it used to be 20, 20 hours long or whatever, and that wasn't a particularly good game, uh, not good game, particularly long game at all, and yet it was perfectly thing, it never outstayed it welcome, it, it never felt like it was dragging on, and I mean, I do, I would have wanted more of it, but it was very good. Um, You're a disgrace to this family. Yes, mother. <laughs> when your cousin Beauregard went to prison for arson, I thought that was as bad as it could ever get. Beauregard is a saint compared to you. Yes, mother. I hope you're proud. Yes, mother. And another thing. I quit. What do you mean you quit? You can't quit. Watch me. Dimitri. Dimitri! The world hasn't heard the last of harm. You can either stand with us or against us. Da da da. And it, yeah, it wasn't. As I said, it wasn't bad at all. It was lovely, um, and it made you want more of the Nolan's Forever universe. Now we did get a kind of semi sequel slash expansion called Project Jack, and it, I think it was set set in between one and two, but it just wasn't that good. Um, it seemed to lose a lot of what made 1 and 2 really funny and it was kind of a shadow of itself and it just didn't feel very inventive and a bit generic and that's probably why they then moved away from the new list forever universe which is a bit of a shame um, but if you can find no list forever 1 and 2 and or 2 on ebay I do recommend you give them a go because I mean I didn't as I said, I'm not very good at games, and um, if I was better, yes, I would have run through that much quicker. Um, but they're very deep. They're just they're decent. You know, they're all round good package. They're not going to blow you away in terms of you know having some sort of mechanic like Half-Life 2 or those sorts of games that transcend the genre or all that palaver or whatever. But they're just games made with a lot of love and a lot of fun. I enjoyed them. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I want to thank you all for watching uh, this No One Lives Forever 2 livecast. Uh, whether you've watched it live or whether you've watched it on YouTube. I do really appreciate it and I thank you very much. Currently, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming next. Um, in theory, I'll probably stra uh, try and keep to this Tuesday or Thursday schedule. And I'll find something else uh, to stream. Probably mainly going to be older-ish games. Um, just because my computer's a bit rubbish, so it can't really handle streaming anything new. So I'll try and find old, obscure, but recently entertaining, and maybe some new indie stuff, I don't know. We'll see what happens, we're just kind of winging it. So, as ever, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel, or either my Twitch channel or my YouTube channel. Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash the two underscores and B, because... Uh, one underscore was taken. My YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash T-H-E-B. Feel free to subscribe there. You can follow me on Twitter at the B and my website is WTF.com. Thank you all once again for joining me for No One Lives Forever 2, a Spied Ham's Way, a Date with Kate live stream. Really hope that you enjoyed it and thanks for coming along this ride with me. Hopefully see you in the future. But uh, for now and from Kate. It's good evening and good night, and probably another phrase that doesn't sound very corny. Off to the night! Away!